past the halfway point here on this week's Thai Fight League, the 20th installment of the very, 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 very best Muay Thai show. The weekly show bringing you card jerk action. The only promotion here in Thailand that does card jerk. Weekly. Week in, week out. <laughs> on television. And of course, on the Thai Fight International YouTube channel. Thank you again for everyone who's joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, if you can share, if you want to share. If you don't, that's fine. But we will forget you. In the white corner, we have Sentawan Superlek Moy Thai. He is 22 years of age from Buriram province, right here in Thailand. He stands at 161 centimeters and he has a professional record of 64 fights with 46 victories, 17 losses and one draw. Superlek Muay Thai, yes, he is the student of Superlek. And here's his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Pet Mung Kong or Nitya Pon. His real name is Gosit Kao Budi. 28 years of age, 167 centimeters tall from right here in Bangkok City, Thailand. He has a total of 69 fights, 51 victories, 17 losses and one draw. It's quite rare that we actually have fighters from Bangkok competing on Thai Fight League. Very true. They you can see the tail of the tape. Pet Mong Gong, four years the elder of San Tawan. At 26, he is ancient in the sport of Muay Thai. Speaking of ancient, it was your birthday this week. Oh, Happy yes. birthday, Mr. Kevin. Thank who you. Who turned 45 years of age this week. 30. Oh, sorry. 30. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy birthday, bud. Thank you very much, Aaron. So, right. yes, you did hear that correctly. Center one, Superlek Muay Thai. For all you fans of the sport of Muay Thai, I'm sure you're well aware who Superlek is. And yes, Sentawan is a sponsored student of Superlek. So, no pressure, kid. <laughs> yeah, let's see if his kicks are as good. I don't think so, not just yet. Takes yeah. many years to master. Yeah, plus the fact that Superlek might have the best kicks yeah. in the sport of Muay Thai. So yeah, no pressure at all. So this is our fifth bout of the evening of what has been a very entertaining, we always say that, Thai Fight League. We have three fights to come. This being the fifth, and of course two more after this one. We are located inside Beat Active, inside the Bitec Convention Center. So if you're ever in Bangkok, Thailand, just put yourself on the SkyTrain and head for Bang Na Station. Then from that station, all you have to do is walk through. There's a walkway. You won't even get wet if it's rainy season. Into the Bitec Convention Center and then find Beat Active, this indoor gym complex. And you will find Thai Fight League every Sunday evening from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. Except next week. <laughs> Thank you very much. Except next week and the week after. Yeah, the week after, of course, is the big Thai fight. And your referee in charge for this match here is Arun Kumutachat. Judges are ringside, Tawan Ian Ubon, Sema Tipkiri, and Judge Phukit Pram Priyun. In the white corner, we have Santawan Superlek Moi Thai. In the black corner, it is Pet Mung Kong or Nithya Pon. And the president of the judges and the referees for Thai Fight is Dr. Sawang Wittia Pitak. Just uh, taking a look on the stream, and we've only got one happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Echo 220, we appreciate that comment. Oh, Kevin does at least. I do very much. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round number one of a scheduled three. Jumping kick there to the leg, and then a spinning back kick attempt by Petmon Kong. Not sure what Petmon Kong was thinking. I think he wants to wow the fans. He's had some interesting techniques, just like the upward elbow we saw just now. Sadly, he's not going to win in fights. Oh, what a nice right hand there from Senko. And again with that low kick. Good start here by Senko. One. Seems like Pedro Kong was watching too much Sombra Kamsing videos before. <laughs> nice. Good reference. Right kick to the body there. High guard there by Senko. One. Oh, good knee. I'm always tempted now to say Super Light would be proud of that one, but I think he would have been. Yeah, most definitely. Low kick there by Senko. One. Left hand. Yeah, no crazy techniques for Pen Pen Kong at the moment. 
think he just realized it didn't work. Oh, that was a nice right hand there. And a beautiful right hand from Santa Bernard now going for the low kicks. Hedmon Kong, I don't think has been... I don't think he's had any big shots so far. Not very accurate, that's for sure. Trying to get close to his opponent. Missing again. It's not going to do well for Pedmon Kong's confidence if he keeps missing. Pinching up with his opponent. Oh, strong knee there. Perfectly timed by Sen Tawan. Of course, as the taller fighter, Whenever you're in that clinching range, it is easy, of course, to connect with the knees. Of course, there are exceptions. Again, there are exceptions, of course, but yes. But not this time. No. I look at there. Get him gone. Oh, good back hand again by center one. Yeah, not quite sure what Hitman Kong needs to do at the moment because Saito One seems to be ahead in every single department we've seen so far. He's struggling with the height, he's struggling with the speed as well of Saito One. He's just struggling to get close enough to his opponent to throw a decent shot. Beautiful low kick, beautiful right hand, swinging right hand then. And a shot to the body from Hitman Kong, but again, he needs another right hand. Yeah, best shot that we've seen from Hitman Kong so far is when he goes to the body. Maybe he needs to do more, more of that. And a good knee on top of that by Pedman Kong. Pedman Kong perhaps finding his groove. Watch it for him. It's end of the round here on Tide Fight League. Let's have a look at the highlights from round number one here on Tide Fight League. Pedman Kong, he started um, in an unorthodox fashion, let's say. Watching too much Silver Rock Sing videos. <laughs> and then he started to eat a lot of shots that were being thrown by Sentawan, who was doing what. You would it do if you're a taller fighter and that stand on the back and just wait for that shot of fight to come towards you and Petmon Khan just walked into a lot of shots that were being thrown by Seng Tawan, whether it be low kicks, right hands, a good round there by Seng Tawan, but Kemi did mention it right at the end. We saw some better shots by Petmon Khan. So let's see yeah, we if saw we can that. take that form into round number two. We saw that on the replay just now as well. We need to do a bit more of that, try to be more accurate. Perhaps try to bait his opponent in. Oh, look, good kick there from Santa One to kick things off. Santa One, of course, a student of Super Late Get Hook now. So don't be surprised if we see a lot of kicks from him. Just realize how red the left eye yes. of Pedman Cole was. Oh, it is. Oh, tempted jumping elbow there. And again, he eats a knee for his troubles. Targeting that damaged left leg is center one. But I gotta say, I love the eagerness that we're seeing from Pedman Kong at the moment. We didn't see too much of him in the first round. Right hand once again there from center one. And again with that right low kick. That marking is almost like a bullseye now. A target for center one to aim at. Oh, good elbow there. He's still on me. May have connected it with this spike. Right low kick once again. Every time he throws it. He's off that combination with a right low kick. He does. And just as you said, that left thigh has just become a target. He has. And again, Minkon. He's trying to move forward, but he's so wary. He strikes every single time as Pet Minkon. He just can't handle the length and the power. He might be going down soon. Santa One may put him and come down in this round. And his eyes are staring. And he's going down. Yeah, he finally went to the point where he just wasn't fighting back, taking too many shots. Then he thought, why not go down, take that eight count, regroup. But you know, if Sentawan does want to end this fight, he's got the power. And he's just, he's just covering up now. Nothing from him is it eats another leg kick and down he goes once again. He just cannot cope with the power, the accuracy of Sentawan. Yeah, we noticed he was going down as soon as he just wasn't defending himself, and that is it. Referee calls the end to the fight at round number two. 
yeah, good performance there from yeah. Santa One, Super Leg Muay Thai. Just about to say, a finish that Super Leg would be proud of. Congratulations to him and his team as we look on there to Santa One, who took a lot of punishment in that second round. He's, he's still down. Not sure if the stretcher is being warmed up or not. Mike, the it's first outing here. Let's have a look at how Santa One was able to finish that fight. Well, he didn't rush. He picked his shots very beautifully. And when he saw that Petmon Korn was in problems, he decided to go in with those left and right hands, and it was that right hand that eventually caused Petmon Korn to go down. Yeah, I think Petmon Korn just realized he was just taking far too many punishments and just thought to himself, look, I'm not going to win this fight. I'll live the fight another day. All right, well. Let's get the official announcement for our MC in the ring, and we'll be back with bout number six here on Thai Fight League. Lepon Gan Tatsin, and the winner is by technical knockout, White Corner, Santa One from Buriram.